you're a cool girl eating breakfast. Hey, here's what we're doing today. Box jumps, jumping pull-ups, kettlebell swings, walking lunges, 90s elbows, push breasts, good mornings, wall wall, grippies. It's a mess. Speed it's busy on a Saturday. Here we go. Can't see the clock, but we are on the dot 35. You survived? Boom. Okay. Now it's, it's back to normal life. I'm all shaky. My hands didn't ready to hold the phone. It's going to be bumpy, so here's how I would do it. I want to do it on the, uh, the plug side so that it's away from the light and out of the way. And then... I'm gonna take my hook and loop. I don't know if I have this in cut already. All right, so I'm just gonna do a quick little demo for myself and see how much I need to go around the cable. So it's got plenty to work with. I usually go around like once, maybe twice, once and a half maybe. So something like that'll be good. And then I'm gonna cut this end, a little bit of a curve. So I'm getting in the way of things. And then, oh, I need to get some more uh, zip ties. These zip ties are super long, but they'll do for now. And just make a little cut in the hook and loop so I can have a place to put the zip tie. Oops. And then we go about foot down cable and go through the hook and loop. I'm putting the, the sticky part of the hook and loop on the bottom so it wraps around on top of itself and then we zip tie it to itself so that it doesn't go anywhere and slide around and get annoying so there you go nice and tight and then obviously losing the tail oops there we go and then because I really hate sharp corners on these things. We're gonna do a little corner taking off. And it kind of helps glue it together. Yeah, there you go. Maybe a little more. It just kind of grinds off those corners. Whoop. Go. Done. Okay. There's one. Actually, I made five of these last night. Five 50 foot stingers. They're so clean and pretty. I'm afraid to use it. But here's I was going to see this. I always debate whether to do the Velcro or not. It's. It lasts longer to do like string or you know a little bit of rope and um, either just tie it, tape it, or shrink wrap it. But I don't. I never found the rope I wanted at Home Depot. It was all whatever the plastic rope is, the the poly instead of like a I don't know what is it, cotton otherwise or something like that. Anyway, the slippery kind. I just wanted the nice regular rope. So anyway, I have a bunch of this hook and loop. So I've been making, I've done a few, I've done a bunch of singers like this just for my truck. Um, but I don't know, we'll see. Guys always complain about, I, I complain about the hook and loop, but I don't know, it's either it's hard to do with gloves on or not hard to do with gloves on. If you're really good, you can do rope with gloves on. There's one 50 footer, I'm gonna go back. I forgot some things at Home Depot, so we're gonna go back and get some carburetor cleaner for the little generator. Some more Hubbles, maybe some more, some more cable, but anyway. Look how pretty that is. One fifty footer. Big. Look, geez, we bought the only spool of twelve three again. Slide it all up. Okay. Now on the docket is get this generator running. So I've got a newer version of this, which actually I quite like. It's got a little digital readout of the fuel left, and it's uh, actually it sounds about I'm gonna guesstimate twenty percent quieter. This is the Generac XI 2000 or something. Yeah. 
Um, I got it uh, just kind of like on a, not a whim, but I, they were super on sale at Costco one time. And I thought, you know, I'll try it out because I was going to get a Honda Putt-Putt, but, and this guy, it, I think it's just barely louder than the Honda. So for half the price, a little bit louder is, you know, not exactly what you want to do. But anyway, uh, so this guy, I haven't started him. Didn't You haven't used the Putt-Putt in, you know, six, seven months maybe. So it's clogged. So we're going to go get into the carburetor whatever that is I don't I'm not a big engine guy anyway whatever that is I'm sure the fuels clogged it up so I'm gonna get in there clean it out with some small engine carburetor and choke cleaner Let's see how it does uh, and um, the spark plugs maybe need to be cleaned we'll see but that way we'll have two uh, this one's gonna go back on the trailer the other one's gonna be on the truck and we're gonna be good Okay. She's running. I'm gonna go for a few minutes and then see if it starts by itself again like that. Okay, now here's the problem. So, I'm guessing it's starting because the carburetor cleaner was in there given the initial kind of catalyst, I guess. I didn't quite get that off all the way to clean it, so I couldn't. It felt like it wasn't coming. It wasn't coming off. I know I've seen somebody do it, so I'm gonna have to pull it all the way off and really clean it instead of just spraying the inside. All right, so I was talking to Jared. He says I need to take it all apart, carburetor, and soak it in something to break it up, brake cleaner, carb cleaner, whatever. So I have to pull it apart. But right now I'm gonna go get an Astra out of the truck because I want to do an Astra versus the lights, the LS1 test and see what kind of output we get. I don't know if Kyle left me a power supply or it's just batteries. We'll find out. I don't know if it's the Astra 4 or the 6. Tune in next time for the Astra versus LS1 tests. Super scientific test because I don't have a light meter right now. My initial impressions. This is the, well, this is the bicolor. This is the LS1. And it's a spot, so I just flipped them on for a second and they felt like the output was close. Although this is the bicolor, and it's on a battery right now, I gotta get the AC going. This is on the AC, and it's only daylight. So, anyway, next time.